So, welcome to Waini. We're going to talk about lots of things today. We're going to talk about, for sure, Waini, French Polynesia in general. There was a society here before, there was religion and all those subjects we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about archaeology because Waini has a very high concentration of archaeology here. And there's lots of temples. And there's also a beautiful lagoon, so we'll stop as we go. So, again, welcome to Waini. Here, you have the Marayanini. So that temple is one of the examples of sacred places. It's called today by anthropologists and archaeologists a royal marae. So for a while this society was coming here to do ceremonies. So here we're in the center of the island and uh, it's a very important part because following a legend a god came here a long time ago and split the island in two pieces. In the process what happened is that he fell over and he chopped his you know, his thing. It's hanging out over there. It's called the Hua. And this is actually the name Huahine. This is why it's called Huahine. We have the Hua here and Hine is in town. We're gonna go see her later on. So here we are basically in the northwest part of the island. And this today is the main administrative center. The first time Europeans came over, they came right here. In journals you can see the description of the mountain. And if you look at the shape of this mountain, it's actually a woman giving birth. Look at the eyes, the nose, the mouth, her breast, her belly, and her knees. This is part of the legend of Wahine. This place is called Maraeteana. So now we have people cleaning up the mountain and we can see these ancient sites. Here was a full village and a bunch of people were living here and the whole mountain is covered of those sites. Here is Maraetefano. Marae Tefano is basically the original site, the original temple that was built here. This is where religion started really on this island. If you turn around, you're going to see eight seats and eight stones. They were backrest for people to come in here and face the gods. If you look at the banyan, look how big it is. We know it's original banyan from the time they built that marae because it's planted on the left part. And in the oral tradition, we talk about planting a tree on the left part of the marae. Okay, so this area was part of the village. People were here doing ceremonies, ceremonies for their religion. And we have a place like this. This is called the sacrificial stones and people would be sacrificed right there. So they would be laying down and we crack their head and do the ceremonial around it. So people were coming here and dance and do all kinds of things and prepare costumes and, uh, and it was just part of life. Just part of life every day. So this gorgeous place right here is basically a plateau for offering. It's called Pai Pai Ofata. People were coming here and do offerings for the gods, but it was also an observation point. If they do see somebody, they will take their shell, blow very hard in it, and it's going to make a crazy noise that everybody knows. And everybody's going to prepare, get sticks and stones, and be ready to fight. I really hope you like uh, visiting the island with me. I was actually very glad I was able to share my culture with you. So what I propose is that you come back later because we didn't see everything. There's way more to discover. So I encourage you to come back and we see the rest. Maruru, Nana, 